All right. I wasn't going to videotape this because I wasn't sure how this would turn out. But uh, I was looking at the, the design here. Um, it's got a lot of features that I like. Uh, I found this cheap. Uh, it was like 20, 30 bucks. Uh, wood vice. And well, I just, I built everything around it basically. Uh, you know, put a little mortise and tin in there. Um, on each side. Uh, but uh, as far as the structure here, you know, these are, these are just, uh, you can see that I, I put the, I gotta file this down, but uh, you know, I, I mounted these here with uh, dowels. And pretty long. I think this this has like a three inch down and it's like at least four inches. It's got two of them. One here, one there. One there. So that's pretty solid. Just because I don't like these pocket hole. I don't even know why they call them joints. You know, just like when you're trying to get something. And I didn't use a jig for it, so they look pretty gnarly. I uh, plan on putting something over this middle. Uh, anyway, so it's just kind of like gonna be hidden and here too. I can always put Something on the base uh, But anyway to this these dovetails that I just put down here uh, Using my uh, My saw my coping saw really I just use this guy Where the heck is it? I use these Japanese saws um, which are really good. I know I got the, uh, these are the, the kind of value ones. Uh, I mean, it was like 12 bucks, but they work really good. And you can always replace them, which I, I like this brand because you can just buy a replacement blade. You can see I kind of wore down the teeth on it. But they're great because uh, they've got, um, sorry, guy. Uh, I'm doing this out of order. That's okay. So I just realized <laughs> on this one, it comes with a coarse side and a fine side, which is great for getting the middle out, kind of uh, taking out the um, the uh, oh man, I'm at a loss for words. Uh, when you got a lot of uh, stock to take out. Uh, um, the thick of it. I don't remember what they say. Okay. God dang it. I wish I would have videotaped. I didn't know how it was going to turn out, but it turned out really good. So like here, I'd use the thick, I use the thick blade in the middle to get it down to depth. Um, you can see I measured the, the angles here. Um, but yeah, I used the coarse blade in the middle and I used the fine blades kind of like 45 degree. And then I used the, uh, the, uh, I always use this coping saw, uh, to measure or to outline the pattern. So I outline the pattern with this guy, uh, you know, and I got it down to depth on the sides. And then I used the fine Japanese saw 45 degree. And then I used the coarse Japanese saw, uh, you know, 90 degree. So, um, after that, you know, it was just kind of knocking out chunks of wood, which this has been filed down. So after I did that, uh, just showing you like how to, uh, you know, I make all those, those cuts. And then uh, you just go at it hard with uh, one of these wood files in the middle, like on the, to flatten it out, which is great because it's got a flat side and this is for the round side I use for when there's a little bit kind of valleys on the bottom. Cause you know, your saws can only do so much work. My coping saw is just not really uh, firm enough to go at an angle. Like, so you can rotate this Stanley to a side and cut sideways, but it's just not, it's, it's not, it's not uh, strong enough in my opinion to, to do it. So I like to file down the, the valleys, but I'll show you what I'm talking about. This one hadn't been filed yet. So it's really rough and it's not even. You see it's got a, 
it's still got areas where the chisel, I took the chisel to it. But man, those saws make short work of the, of the chisel work. I mean, it just breaks up like you wouldn't believe. I should have videotaped it, but I'm sure everybody's uh, familiar with that. So anyway, next step, I plan on putting a, I'm thinking like a two by six or something in there, just because it doesn't really need a lot of strength. Um, I mean, this thing is solid, you know? I, I kind of, uh, and the wheels are great too, you know, just kind of, I can slide it, I can push it, uh, I can rotate it. You know, this thing, this bench, uh, it's not the main bench that I'm actually trying to build. I got a bunch of, I got a bunch of wood for that project. Uh, it's my little table saw jig. Uh, uh, but uh, I think it, uh, I think it's gonna look good. And it's gonna be strong. 